What's up guys, so we are back for episode 5 of Nekopara, and uh, so, yeah, I don't really know how long the video is going to be today, I'm going to aim for a 30 minute video, but you know, just depends on uh, where I find a good stopping point or whatever, so let's get right into this. So, uh, so far, today is going to be a good day. I mean, a great day. Let me take that back. Get out of here. Means of suburbia. I am moved too. But not in my heart. In a different location that happens to be a little bit farther down in on the human body. See, Vanilla, Vanilla knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't, I don't even know what you're talking about. I am not a pervert. Stop fooling around. Two cat girls showed off the uniforms they had just received comedically. Swamped with work, I turned away from the two cat girls. Ah, yeah, it looks really good. Although it was last minute, I'm glad that we found something decent. Ah, it looks good on you too, Vanilla. I'm counting on you too, you know. I need to learn how to read sentences. Yep. Yeah, is it? No, you can't do it, darn. We'll wait for it. Okay, we can do it now, guys. The episodely P button spam, because you know why not. That's all we're going to do for today, so. You never know, I might slip it in because I'm. I believe that I forgot it last episode, but no. Come on, you aren't being honest. Oh wait. My cat girls sure are energetic. I looked at the frolicking cat girls out of the corner of my eye as I wiped the trays and tables. We open tomorrow, huh? The necessary ingredients were already in the refrigerator and the decorative plants for the shop had arrived. I figured there would be more excitement to all of this, but naturally that wasn't the case. Time did fly by when we were trying to get everything prepared, though. I reached for the business cards that had just arrived that morning.
No, that's exactly what business cards are used for. She knew about protecting personal information, but not about business cards? Well, it was true that it would be a pain if I was in some sort of strange business or something. Ah, it would be nice if everything went like that. I rubbed the high-spirited chocolate on the head as if that dream had already been granted. If she was already this genuinely happy about things, I began to feel like it all might go well. It really was reassuring to have someone else here along with me. I found myself thinking about all that all again. What's wrong, Vanilla? Ah, I don't mind. It was rare for Vanilla to want something like that, but I imagine even cat girls like to have mementos. I have several hundred cards, so it really wasn't a big deal. Okay, I had a lot made, so go ahead and take however many you'd like. Hey, wait, you can't take all of them. That's not what I meant by take however many you want. I watched Chocolate take the box and go. Maybe Japanese was hard for them to understand. Nekopara? Don't really know <laughs> what exactly this was supposed to be. Better question is how long is this gonna go on? But oh, there we go. <laughs> that sounded like something completely different, but you know, you two really are cats. That was how I felt, watching those two get so engrossed in a regular cat toy. Well, it did say, go ahead, so for now I'll just let them play with it. Hmm, where can I find books on cat girls? As I looked around the store, an apron-clad shop clerk came up to me. Do you have any books on raising cats, the humanoid kind? Wow, there sure are a lot of books on cat girls. I was so taken aback by the tightly packed amount of books on cat girls, my thoughts happened to slip out. A cat girl's feelings, cat girl education, cat girls full at or cat girls at full speed, or not. I didn't understand the last one, but in any case, there were a lot of books. <laughs> Oh no, my little sister is their owner. Wait, no, I am their owner. I thought I thought should do a bit of studying up on them. It's missing a word there, I think. <laughs> missing an I. It did feel awkward to declare that I was their owner. But to be able to say that I was their owner was also something that made me a bit happy. I would say it was a part of my caring personality. A wry smile formed my face as I watched the two of them frantically slap the cat toy from a distance. 
Wait, they're still doing that? The shop clerk came back and handed me a book. Cat girls, you're one to adulthood. Right, that would be important. I rapidly flip through the pages. Eating habits to promote growth, mating season, stable period during pregnancy. Didn't think I'd be saying those words today, but I guess I am. <laughs> Cat girl training, ways to deal with cat girls, cat girl personalities, schooling. He covered topics all the way to athletic competitions involving cat girls. You're right. They seem better raised than I was. I suddenly remembered not too long ago when Chocolate and Vanilla managed to talk me out of sending them home. As an owner, I'd better study up. With that thought in mind, I handed the book back to the shop clerk. In that case, I'd like to buy this. あと、もう一つなのですが。ん、<笑><笑><笑> もう<笑><笑> Well, I guess I'll get that toy too. Also, do you have me any drinks? Sometimes I really wondered if their heads were screwed on right. Watching the two cat girls roll around as if on the verge of death suddenly made me feel anxious. Well, I'll hang this up in the room, so play with it all you want. Their eyes flicker towards the toy that was just... That was jutting out of the bag. Not just out of the bag. Jutting out of the bag. I guess on an energetic level, these really were cats. Shunt Clerk did tell me that's just how things are after all. <laughs> hmm? I wasn't planning on it, but was there something you wanted? I guess if you want to go, then we can go. Using such unclear words was uncharacteristic of Vanilla. Just the other day, I had bought her a full set of hair care products. I guess there was some medicine I wanted to stock up on, so I didn't mind. Okay, let's go then. Objective. Well, that's fine, I guess. Maybe cat girls' lives aren't that easy. 
I thought about that as we headed towards the drugstore. That is exactly what minstrel saying is, yep. It's something like that. Look, can you keep it down, okay? <laughs> Stares from others in the store were piercing me once again. There's no way I could get angry at their innocence either. Please try to understand my situation. <laughs> in any case, why don't we go that way? There should be medicine over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just some household medicine, thanks for your concern. I calmed down the concerned Chakula who was right up in my face. Household medicine is the kind of medicine you buy just in case something happens at home. That time wasn't normal. Chocolate is a cat girl too. If you only have a slight cold, then medicine from the local store should be more than enough. She picked up various medicine boxes and looked at them with admiration. On that note, was it okay for cat girls to take regular human medicine? A while ago, I saw that Sugar A had some medicine that said ship or something on it, but... Yeah, that's about right. I answered her vaguely. Well, Chakula hasn't been to a hospital for humans before, after all. It's alright as long as she understands more or less what they are. Huh? Where's Vanilla? Before I realized it, Vanilla had vanished. Wasn't she the one that said she wanted to go to the drugstore too? By over there, do you mean outside the store? I turned to where Chekla was pointing and saw that she was pointing outside. All of a sudden, Vanilla came back inside the store. Huh? Vanilla, where did you go? No, I mean, you clearly came from outside of the store just now. I pointed towards the sign for the restrooms inside the store. There was no reason for Vanilla to lie, though. Wait, she is a cat, so does it mean that she... Could it be that you didn't know that what a restroom was and went outside for... Yeah, yeah, that's true, huh. There's no way that would be the case, right? Sorry. Vanilla's face was red with rage as I earnestly apologized. So that's how Vanilla looks when she gets angry. Huh. It's difficult to make sense of Cat Girl's pride. It's going to be a tall order, so I'm counting on you too. Hi. Hello. 
感が足りないもっとこびてもっとお色気を<笑> So this is that kind of cafe Okay うむうむお色気かよしじゃあもう一回行くねはい。While I was making preparations for tomorrow, the poster girls were off to the side practicing greetings. I thought I heard them say they were going to help earlier, but oh well. Well, what I was doing could be done by one person for now, at least. <laughs> hmm, so that's it. I had a taste of the custard I had made. There was no clumps and the taste was uniform. The sweetness was superb, too. Now then, next I need to work on the pie dough. Did you two want to have a taste? I handed the custard covered spatula to them. <laughs> okay, okay, understood. This is the last one, okay? This time I gave each of them a small spoon. Fast, just like a cat. The two of them were wholeheartedly licking their spoons. Well, I suppose their straightforwardness was sort of cute. Well, even though I did ask for assistance, you two are just cat girls after all. Uh-huh. Uh, don't jump up like that all of a sudden, it's dangerous. <laughs> hey, Vanilla, don't just go and take more yourself. That's a lot more than a mere taste test. Stop. Ah, Vanilla, let go of me. Alright, I'll make it. Is vanilla bean. The customers aren't hamsters, you know. It's gonna have to be. <laughs> it's gonna have to be censored. <laughs> <coughs> uh, 
him. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. You can probably guess what is showing, so... Yeah. <laughs> That's why I told you not to open your eyes. I'm going to wash you off again. You reap what you sow, right? Come on, close your eyes. I washed all the milk and fresh cream off chocolate and vanilla in the shower. It's a small blessing that the damage was just limited to you two, huh? Although cleaning the bakery up did take a lot of effort. Am I wearing a penguin shirt? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm wearing a penguin shirt. Heck yeah. Ah, now that you mention it, that's true. Come on, you get that for opening your mouth. Just keep quiet for a bit. <laughs> when they were young cat girls, I did occasionally bathe with them. But once they started to mature, I refrained from getting in the bath with them. It wasn't because I felt guilty or anything, though. Ever since they were small, I've thought of them like little sisters, maybe even daughters in a way. Besides, they've become more feminine to some degree, too. Stop zooming in on it! <laughs> like, please! <sighs> Wait a minute, they're cat girls, what am I doing? Thinking stuff like that. <laughs> Huh? Uh, it's nothing at all. Uh, right. I was just thinking that your hair has gotten longer. That, that's not what he was looking at. Yeah. Though you two are cat girls, you're also maturing girls as well. Have some shame, at least a bit. Sheesh, you two act like cats only when it's convenient, huh? Come on, I'll wash your heads now. With shampoo in my hands, I went to work. Went to work it into a lather in their hair. Their hair was beautiful and free of split ends thanks to Shigure's constant care. Even to the untrained eye, I could see the merit in having them grow their, out their hair. Your eyes have been closed the whole time, though, Vanilla. Besides, to think I'd lust for cat girls like you two. When you're just like troublesome daughters to me. Yes, yes, it's my honor. Pleasant thoughts floated around, floated through my head as I stroked their hair. The idea of taking care of cute girls or cute daughters didn't sound so bad to me. After all, even Shigure used to constantly follow me around a long, t uh, follow me around long ago. I suppose it's okay for me to say I'm rather good at taking care of others. Come on, while I wa while I'm washing your hair, you'd better make sure to wash the rest of you too. Don't forget your tails either. Hmm. I already have my hands full with washing your hair. Uh, 
Yeah, why don't you do that? I'm gonna pour water over you again. Close your eyes and mouth and hold your breath. Okay, okay, you're up next. It was a lot of effort, but this kind of change of pace might have been good. As I carefully washed their hair, that crossed my mind. That thought crossed my mind. Okay. <laughs> I'm probably going to end it here, because... Yeah, this has been a somewhat long episode. It actually has been 30 minutes. So, <coughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more content. And uh, if you have any recommendations for future videos, uh, just say it down in the comments below and I'll uh, try and do whatever. And uh, so, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. And remember, stay sweet.